Hi everyone, it's Merc007 here, otherwise known as Miss Merc. Thank you so much for joining our tutorial video series presented by Kickstarter. I'm a board game ambassador working with Kickstarter creators in Japan, and I'm here to share advice and support your game creation, and also to help you with building a community. Today we will look at how to use Udinarium to playtest and demo your games. So how do you actually playtest or demo your games online? To do so, you will need to use some tools. A way to chat and get feedback from your playtesters and a way to show your game. If your game only needs paper and pencil, you can just use Zoom. For games that require a board, deck of cards or other things, you need to use some online tools. Let's look at this Japanese and international tool you can use for online playtesting and demoing of your game. Udonarium. It's in Japanese and it's free. As the components may change due to feedback, you can use sample images and not the actual image. Udonarium is a great Japanese engine you can use to set up your playtest for card games, board games or role-playing games. The best thing about this site is you don't need to register your email address. It runs via a web browser so any computer can run the engine. And it's 3D. It's very easy to use. When you go to the website, you are given a template you can modify or delete and create your own. Close the pop-up windows. First, you will need to upload your images you will use for the cards or board. Click on image and upload the files from your computer. You can add more images later. And right click anywhere in the browser. A pop-up menu will appear. And there you can add your own dice, cards, card decks, characters and game board. To create a deck of cards, right click anywhere and create a card deck. Right click and choose card list. Remove all the cards, leaving only one card. Edit the back image and the front image. Then click Make a copy and only edit the front image. Repeat this step for all your cards. Once your cards are created, you can delete the unused cards like this. Put all the cards into a pile, right click and delete. To add dice, right click and choose add dice. or add other objects like meeples, character standees, and so on. See how easy it was? No programming needed. The interface is very easy to use. After you create your game, you need to make sure to save it on your computer. You can then upload it again later when you are ready to play. Click on connection. Choose your player name Click on Display Lobby Room List and create your own game room 
and password. Share that with your friends. Now your friends that go to the site can join that lobby. You can then load the game file. For the player, it's easy also. Double click to draw cards. Right click and choose self view. Only that player can now see the front of the card. If you mouse over, you can zoom in on the card. When they are ready to reveal the card, they can double click on the card and it will flip over. There is one caveat to this system. As it was made for role players who can upload and download their own characters and items. When you upload your game file, anyone in your playtest room at that time can also save the file as well. So it is recommended to use sample images or upload a sample copy of the game. Udonarium is in Japanese, it's free to use, has great graphics and is easy to use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Playtesting is crucial, not only to improve your game, but to help build a solid foundation for your international community. Once again, if you would like our help connecting with international playtesters, make sure you fill out the form via the link in the description below. You can also find out about other tutorial videos on how to start building an international community on BGG, how to launch an effective Kickstarter campaign, and more. Bye for now!